guys welcome back to no catchy name it's me ella today is monday <laughs> um the ninth i think the january <laughs> uh i just want to hop on here real quick just to like catch up i haven't put a video out in like three days just because i've been busy and i just got done cleaning the living room and i mopped myself onto the couch <laughs> so i'm sitting here i'm gonna wait for the floors to dry so i thought i would make a video real quick and show you what i'm up to i've just been making stuff still out of this amigurumi book from Stringy Ding Ding called Plenty Efficiency. I'm working on one right now, actually. Uh, so I wanted to show you. I finished two more out of it that I wanted to share with you guys. And then I was going to show you another craft that I was working on just for fun. <laughs> so uh, I did. I made the mermaid. And I'm not 100% happy with her. She turned out bigger than I thought she was going to be. And I feel like the holes on her neck are really big. And uh, I had a few rounds of uh yarn chicken while playing while making her she got a little fuzzies on her i gotta get those off but anyways here she is i had to give her purple hair because i didn't have enough red scrap to make it red <laughs> like the little mermaid but uh yeah so I, you start with the head and i just this is the only skinish color i had in my scraps and i'm trying to use up my scraps for these didn't have any other shades of brown in there and uh this is it. And it was just one scrap ball. And I was making it. And as I was getting like to here, I was a really nervous about the size of the scrap ball. So I actually did. I left that one row of the head. Uh, just one of the straight rows. And then I uh, left out two rows of the body. So she's got a shorter tor torso. And then the arms are a little bit shorter too than they were supposed to be. But that's because I made the torso shorter. So I felt it was fine to do that. Uh, and I used up every bit of this yarn. The last bit of it, that was the tail of one of the arms to sew it on, is what I did for the nose. <laughs> I just, like, stitched the nose on there. Um, that, that's not part of the pattern, but I just thought it was cute. <laughs> and, um, so yeah, I completely used up all this color. So, uh, I can now pull out one of my bigger skeins to use if I wanted to. Um, and then I grabbed two green scrap balls out for this, the tail. And, uh, I, I again, <laughs> I was getting nervous. Okay, I used up one scrap ball and it just it was just a little one, so it was like up here somewhere. And then it started getting smaller, you know, and I was like, oh boy. <laughs> so uh I didn't think I'd have enough to make these little fins, and I was right. Uh by the time I got down here, I was like within a few stitches of running out of yarn. So I went ahead and I just made these tail parts out of the stuff the top. <laughs> but which Ariel from the Little Mermaid, her um up here her scales i don't know what it's called and her fins are the same color and different than her tail so that worked out pretty nice i thought <laughs> and then this i know this is a scrap of um these are red hearts this one may not be but this is a uh, dollar tree just yarn scrap and then her hair is three different scrap balls of a purple yarn she's got little fuzzies on her i guess from being in that yarn bag with all those other amigurumis pick them all off her head um, so I don't know if you could tell from the camera, but the first like four or five rows is a different color. <laughs> I thought they were all amethyst or, you know, like the same. And then once I was, when I, when I went to attach the new ball to the, the older one, I realized they were slightly different, but I think it's only just slightly different. So I don't, I don't think it's a big deal. And a lot of people's roots are different color than their hair, <laughs> but her hair is three scrap balls all together of amethyst. And I do still have a little bit. I had like a little cake piece left over um of that so i was kind of close <laughs> with her but you see how her holes are so much bigger on her neck and all that i don't like that looks i'm still gonna put her in my etsy shop but if she doesn't sell which I, I don't mind if no one buys her because of that reason right there uh i'll just give her to the kids you know i know they'll play with them jesse's already been asking for like duplicates of everything that i made and then i did go ahead like the nose isn't part of the pattern or the little smile or the eyelashes i just thought it gave her more character you know so i will put her in the etsy shop if she sells woohoo if she doesn't that's okay uh, i'm just unhappy with that you know other people may love her and think she's beautiful but i just i'm not happy with the way her right here looks her neck i just feel like those holes are huge for some reason and yeah but she is cute she turned out definitely bigger than i thought she was gonna turn out um but yeah she's normal so i finished her <laughs> that's what i'm trying to say and then today this morning i, I made another seahorse so the first one I made was purple, made with um, red heart ombre. That was the first one. It's got the pink eyes that my sister made. 
And then today I made an orange one. <laughs> this is Red Heart Pumpkin. And I gave her, him, it, <laughs> the green eyes. And this is another one that I was kind of, I was worried because it was like a floppy skein. And it kept getting smaller and smaller. But I did end up with a little scrap ball that's like that big of this color. But I was getting close. But I was thinking if I did run out of the body, I could make the fins like a different orange or another color to all together, you know. Uh, and it would still look cute. But I think it's adorable. And it's a little bit, it seems a little bit bigger. I guess this yarn's um, a little bit thicker, you know, than the ombre. Or my tension this day was tighter. Or I just stuffed this one more. I don't know. He's a little bit different shaped, <laughs> different sized. But they're adorable. I love this little pattern. And these eyes, I think, make it so cute. Uh, my sister is working on more of these eyes. And she is thinking about selling them. So, um, if she does decide that soon, I will definitely let you guys know. So, you can buy them <laughs> if you're interested. So, that's the two that I made recently. So, that's ten. I've made ten hamagrumis so far in January. Which I think is pretty good, seeing as how it's only the ninth. <laughs> but, um... And I'm working on an 11th one, also from the same book. I'm just going to work on these until my shop update, which is hopefully the 11th. Uh, I will make a video for sure the night before um, announcing it. It's either going to be the 11th or the 12th because I'm still working on the bags in there. And I'm just going to work on these amigurumis until the bags are done. So I'm making a second clownfish because I really enjoyed making it. And I think it's just really cute. So um, I just barely started it though, just a little while ago. <laughs> I just got to where I need to attach the black now. But, um, I got these are to mark the eyes. I'll put the eyes in eventually. <laughs> uh, I usually wait till I get further down the body to put the eyes and stuff on. But, yeah. So, I just got to where I need to switch over to black yarn and start on the stripes. So, that's what I'm working on today. I just wanted to hop on here because I haven't made a video in a few days. And I miss chatting with you guys. I miss reading comments and stuff. So, let me know what you're working on if you want to. Um, yeah. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> also, yesterday I sat down. I had some free time. June was napping and Devin was in here with them. So, she woke up. He could have dealt with her. So, I went in there and was crafting all my paper craft stuff. Uh, if you're not interested, that's the rest of the crochet stuff. But, um, I've been watching videos. I've been trying to get better at drunk journal and stuff. And so, um, I made a little drunk journal <laughs> out of a, what's this called? Greeting card. I got it at the Dollar Tree. So it was 50 cents. It was one of those that's two for a dollar. Um, I did add a signature. I don't I don't know if you can see that because there's there's string there. <laughs> but uh yeah, so I thought I would just like kind of flip through it real quick to show you. Also, today I got I had to go get some something at the dollar store. I grabbed some of these cute little blingy things. So I might add some of those to this. But um yeah, so I just wanted to show you what I did kind of roughly. It's not perfect because I'm still new at this. But there's a pocket here with two little things in it to journal on that you can pull out. And then I made another little pocket here with more little pieces of paper to scribble on. And also there's blank spaces behind these that I can write stuff on. My idea is what I'm going to do after I share this with you guys is how I'll start using it. Um, I'll probably just start journaling now in it and put pictures. You know, I'm going to get print, get little, um, I think it's two by three pictures printed because... Yeah, two by three. Because you can, if you go on the editor, you can put four two by three photos on one four by six photo <laughs> to print it out, and then you just cut them apart. And uh, that's what I've done before when I used to scrapbook. So I'm gonna start doing that and uh, gluing them. You know, of us, the kids and us, and all that. So here's the next page, and let me move that away first. This is um, this little tab right here to pull a little spot here to journal on. And then right here, there's a secret pocket with another piece of paper folded up in it that I can pull out and journal on. I meant to put the pocket over here, <laughs> but I accidentally put the tape on the wrong side. So I just went with it. It's just really hidden now. It's right there. And this is like a vellum, I guess the right word, bag. Half of it's here and half of it's later. And it's just got a little thing in it to, you know, write stuff on. And here's a pretty pocket with a, a uh, tag that I made. And then blank space right there. And then... This is like my favorite part right here. I got this postcard a while ago in the mail and I love the picture that's on it. It's from Erica. And I did, I added um, paper to the back so I could journal on the back of it. And then it's got like a little tuck here for me to, I can write journal on it and then stick it back in there. If I can get in there. <laughs> and I added this flower. I just thought it was so pretty. And then there's a doily. And then right here I have uh, some little char heart charms. I can glue stuff on there. And right here, oh, that's wrong <laughs> Right here is a blank space to journal and glue stuff. And then it opens up. It's an envelope. 
and there's paper and tags tucked in here that I can pull out and journal on. And then these are receipts <laughs> uh, that I can, again, journal on. I keep saying that. And glue pictures of kids and us on. And then back here is a piece of paper folded up that I can pull out. I can hold this. Okay, I'm not the best at this. I should be. It should be on the table, but I don't I don't want to. You know, I'm mopped onto the couch. <laughs> but I can just pull it out right here and unfold it and uh, put pictures on it or something. And then fold that back in. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that. I thought I, I, thought I did pretty good. And then this page, I absolutely love this. Just the look of, with the bird and I layered it. And again, there's tags tucked in there to journal on. <laughs> and this is the other side of that vellum envelope with some stuff in there to write on. And then this part is these two little pockets have uh, cards in them that I can pull out. And they're white on the back so I can journal on them or whatever. And then there's also a few things tucked kind of behind the cards. I didn't tape them all the way down. I guess there's just one. I guess I'm going to start with two in there. It might have fell out. <laughs> but a little card there I can pull out and um, journal on. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. And then the back, I just made a little tuck with these heart stickers. I only um, taped, you know, part of them. So these two pieces of paper come out. And then again, there's blank space to journal on. <laughs> and then lastly, there is another envelope with a piece of paper here. And then a tucked piece of paper to journal on. <laughs> so that is my journal that I made last night. It took me about two hours. But I was also, I was watching YouTube videos and um, just journaling away thinking about it and all that and then I got this cute little ribbon that was in some happy mail that I was sent by Chris she sent me like some random scrap um crafty things and so I just it's like elasticy floof <laughs> so I just cut off a piece of it to tie it shut with and I think that's adorable I think it's pretty good for my first greeting card journal <laughs> and like I said I'm probably gonna go through and add a few of these little blinky things that I got they're just like jewels but they're sticky of hearts pink and red I'm just gonna stick them you know in some places and then I can start journaling in it now that I've shared it with you guys. So that is my plan. I want to make some more of these. And I have an idea to make some of these for Happy Mail too. Like, um, you know, I do Christmas swaps with people. I thought I could make little Christmas themed ones with Christmas cards to send them. You know, and then they can already have a journal that they can, you know, journal in about their Christmas, the year that I send it to them. Or what have you. <laughs> but I think it's cute. And maybe eventually in my giveaways in the future, um, I can include something like this too. Uh, for what you know, whatever theme of the year, like if it's spring or whatever, you can be themed to kind of that and uh, with a project bag and all that. I thought that'd be cute. But yeah, I just I really enjoyed making it. It's really good for my mental health. You know, it's just kind of time for me to sit back there and do stuff, you know, and not think about everything else. And uh, it's a lot of fun. I liked it a lot, and um, I love doing it. So I'm definitely gonna my personal money <laughs> already. Like um, you know, we ha I have cash envelope with my personal money in it. And uh, I've already been spending more than I ought to. I need to save it back up again. Get some more built up in there. But it is my money to spend. So, But um, it's pretty low right now. Only like $30. Because <laughs> I, I had to go buy a paper cutter from Walmart. And the only one they had was the Cricut brand one. So it was kind of expensive. But by expensive it was like $14. But you know that's a lot of money for something that cuts paper. <laughs> but uh, I definitely want to start buying more ephemera packs and stuff uh to fill up journals with so i'm looking forward to that and i need to get more stickers uh i was gifted some stickers i'll show them i guess in the next video because i forgot to get them and like i said i mopped on the couch i gotta wait for the floor to dry <laughs> but they're in there on my table but they were from um a yearning friend who sent me a lot of stuff over the years and uh she just she mentioned in her you know in on the little note that amazon sent you that she heard that i needed some word stickers and actually let's see here this i love you is one of them. And I think I used another one. I can't remember if I did. Or I was going to. I can't remember. I think I was just going to. But um, that one right there was from that. So that's cool. Now she's in there. And I'll think of her every time I see that. <laughs> but I was pretty happy with this. I thought I did pretty good. I've been watching a million, drillion, frazillion videos. Trying to get ideas. Because, you know, I'm brand new to it. So I'm, I don't have all these ideas stored in my head yet. But it's getting there. I'm starting to... You know, remember things I've watched, and I have so many on like playlists that I made um, that I'm gonna start making more of these. And I know a few people's mentioned me making them on my like videos, but I'm just not there yet. <laughs> I'm not nearly good enough at it yet, and I don't have any of the supplies that's the right stuff to use it with. You know, um, like all my tags, if they're not from the little packets that I bought randomly on Etsy that come, you know, with uh, they're like mystery. Like this one came in an Etsy order that I did. It's like a mystery bag of journaling stuff. 
uh, all the tags that I have that I made, like this big red one, I just cut it out by hand. I don't have like a proper punch. And the hole is poked with a sewing needle from my, like a yarn needle. <laughs> so I don't have any of the right supplies. Um, but maybe one of these days I'll share some of it with you guys. But I'll definitely label the video so the people who's not interested will won't have to worry about it. But I'm super excited about it. I think it's adorable. And I think it did a good job. That's what I've been working on, though. I mean, just yesterday, I finished the mermaid yesterday. It took me two days to work on her because her hair was kind of annoying because it's all these different strands. They are attached up here, but they're all separate from right here. So you have to kind of sew them this far down. It's just kind of annoying, but it's cute. I just really wish her neck looked better. But if, like I didn't, you know, if I, like I said, if she doesn't sell, um, the kids will like her. So I'm not worried about it. And then I finished this little guy today. He's so cute. <laughs> and, um, now I'm working on the fish. So I'm going to hop off here and work on that fish some more. And I will see you guys in another video. Hopefully soon. For sure Wednesday. For Whip Wednesday. But I don't know about tomorrow. We'll see I guess. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.